Okie dokie. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm a little shaky with that hand. Okay. If you haven't seen one, this is your uh, PVC oil and gas separator. Um, I've modified this one a little bit. You can buy it off of eBay. Uh, they come from California mostly. Um, what, I, what I've done to modify it is I actually drilled the holes a little bigger where these studs come in here. And in the bottom, I'm going to try and do this with one hand. I, I know it's, it's really funky to, to focus here. But in the bottom, you open up the canister, then you stuff coarse steel wool down inside. And I don't know if you can see any of it, but the coarse steel wool, what it does is it actually gives the oil a surface to cling to. And as the oil clings to the surface, it tends to uh, move down on the canister. As it moves further down in the canister, it stores in the canister. Uh, what that does is that allows the gases to pass through the top and the oil stores at the bottom. It has a little clear tube here. This clear tube shows you the level of oil that's in the canister as the gases are passing through. What I've done here as a modify is I have two nipples pointing each which way. See, one goes one way, the other one goes the other way. Uh, presumably from the hockey puck out, is going to be going into the canister so that's going to be this side of the canister inside and then coming back out going into the air intake housing there is going to be the other arrow okay I'm going to position it on that bracket where I took the vacuum booster off and that's going to allow me to go ahead and open up the canister from the bottom and drain it whenever I need to drain it um, you, you, you install it with a simple hose clamp there around the bottom of that bracket. So I'll pause it and the next time you see it, it'll be installed.